Welcome to North Carolina State University and the Poole College of Management. During this video series, you will learn about the degree requirements for our majors in order to assist you in selecting an appropriate class schedule for the upcoming semester. Additionally, you will learn about common course substitutions for transfer students, as well as advising and registration procedures that are specific to the Poole College of Management. Our advising team has a Twitter profile and we encourage you to follow us at Advising Pool. By following us, you will receive reminders about advising in our college and resources that can contribute to your academic success. In this video, you will learn about using the MyPAC portal system along with what you will need for your advising session. In the videos that follow, you will be introduced to the general education program courses which are often referred to as GEPs, as well as required coursework for your specific major. You will need to have access to the items listed on your screen for this session. In the next several slides, you will learn how to access your degree audit and transfer summary report. It is important that you take notes during the presentation so you can ask your advisor questions that are specific to your situation. It also allows you to organize your thoughts for more effective and efficient communication. The curriculum guides are located under your specific major in curriculum and concentration file folders. You can press pause here to print out the items on the Moodle site. You can press here to pause. You can press pause here to print out the curriculum items on the Moodle site. Your Student Center should be your home page in the MyPAC portal system, which houses your personal and academic information. MyPAC portal and the Enrollment Wizard are what you will use in the registration process here at NC State. In order to get to your Student Center, simply go to www.ncsu.edu and do a search for the words MyPAC portal. If you are not automatically directed to your Student Center, you can follow the drop down menu on the screen to get there. On the left side of your Student Center homepage, you would find your schedule listed for the current semester. Beneath that, you will find a drop down menu that houses links to your degree audit, transfer summary report, unofficial transcript, and other items related to academics. On the right side of the screen, you will see the link to the Enrollment Wizard, which is located where it says View Enrollment. After completing your advising session, it is strongly encouraged that you view the MyPAC tutorial videos on using the Enrollment Wizard so you know how to register for your courses. You will learn where the links to these videos are on the next screen. Also on this screen, you will find the Hold section of your Student Center. Currently, you should see a hold that says Term Advisement Required. Once you complete your advising videos and quizzes successfully, you can notify your advisor to release your advising hold. You may have additional holds throughout the course of your time at NC State. Your advisor can only release the Term Advisement Required hold. Should you have additional holds like the student on the screen, simply click on the words Details and you will find information about your other holds in addition to the contact information for who can release them. You will have advice you will you will have an advising hold every semester while at NC State and your advisor will contact you via email each semester for instructions on how to get your hold released. If you scroll down to your student center on the If you scroll down on your Student Center, you will find other useful information. On the left side of the screen, you will find links to your student account, which include your billing information. You will also find your emergency contacts, mailing addresses, and information regarding parental access. On the right side of the screen, you will find your advisor's name and link to contact information along with links to those MyPAC tutorials videos we mentioned in the previous slide. My pack is also called SIS and those tutorials can be viewed by clicking on the SIS tutorials link. 
The transfer summary report is one of the most important documents for transfer students as it lists each course you have taken at your previous school or schools. It then lists how the course is transferred to NC State. In order to access your report, use the drop down menu on your Student Center homepage to select Transfer Credit Report. Once this appears, click the link for Transfer Summary Report and a PDF of your report will open on your screen. You may need to disable pop-up blockers for the report to appear. It is important to check your transfer summary report to ensure that all of your previous coursework is listed here. If you see a semester where the courses are listed as IP, it means those courses are in progress and that NC State Undergraduate Admissions has not received your final transcripts. You will know that NC State has received your transcript when the letters IP turn into grades. It will be important to recheck this screen or your degree audit to ensure that your final credits from your previous institution are listed. Contact information for the Office of Undergraduate Admissions is listed on the next slide if you have further questions about credits posting to your transfer summary report and your degree audit. Your degree audit is your road map Your degree audit is your roadmap to graduation as it contains all of your degree requirements. In order to access your degree audit, use the pull down menu on your MyPAC Student Center homepage. Once you get to the screen on this slide, uncheck the box that says include planned courses and then click on the view button beside your degree plan. If you are interested in another major or seeing what courses are included in your proposed concentration, you can use the what if function on that same page. Use the pull down menu to highlight your desired degree plan and then click run what if audit. You can also save as intended major or check coder requirements if you are interested in investigating other majors. The what if degree audit can also be used to investigate minors at NC State. Simply click on the minor bubble and use the drop down menu to select your desired minor. While your current credits will automatically appear in the what-if degree audit, some things that have been manually moved by your advisor will not appear in the correct place. However, this function will be enough to give you basic information about majors, concentrations, and minors available at NC State. If you have not already, please print a copy of your transfer summary report and your degree audit as they will be required for you to use in the next video. If you have received AP or IB credit, please make sure you have those scores sent to NC State's undergraduate admissions just as you would transcripts from other schools. Credit for these courses will show up on your degree audit as CR where the grade would post. When you see credits that show up as TA, TB, or TC, these are transfer credits that you have received grades of A, B, or C for respectively. If you have any questions about your AP, IB, or transfer credits, you can call Undergraduate Admissions at the number on the screen. On occasion, there may be some courses that can be substituted for other requirements. For example, if you have credit for AP Statistics or have transferred in ST311, this will satisfy our Math 114 Finite Math requirement. Another example of a course substitution is EC205, Fundamentals of Economics. If you have taken or transferred in EC201, it can set... Another example, another example of a course substitution is EC205, Fundamentals of Economics. If you have taken or transferred in EC205, it can satisfy your EC201 microeconomics requirement. In the case of both ST311 and EC205, these courses must be manually moved by your advisor. Please email them if these courses need to be moved on your degree audit. You may have taken a look at your audit and thought that you have taken a course similar to one of our requirements but have not been given credit for it or it is not in the right place. In this case, you may submit a request for degree requirement exception 
so the incoming course can be evaluated to determine if it meets one of our requirements. If you submit a request for degree requirement exception, you will need to attach the supporting documentation listed on the form and you can submit your report in the advising office located in Suite 2150 of Nelson Hall or directly to your advisor via email. If you submit a request for degree requirement exception, you will need to attach the supporting documentation listed on the form and you can submit your request in the advising office located in Suite 2150 of Nelson Hall or directly to your advisor via email. This concludes the MyPAC tutorial presentation. You may now view the General Education Program Requirements video for your major.